quick video update on the Sullivan triple expansion. Again, the bores are 4 inch HP, which I have bolted down, 6.5 inch intermediate pressure, and a 11 inch low pressure with a 7.5 inch stroke. Piston valves on the high pressure. Intermediate pressure, which you can see there's a when whoever sleeved this, they actually bored this out and broke into the old bolt holes and had to do new bolt holes and made this uh, questionable piston valve, new piston valve, um, and then made a new piston valve here for the low pressure, which is questionable. Um, these are some things I discovered while we're there. Um, I've been slowly packing away at this uh, er, natural insulating material. Uh, don't touch, you'll get cancer. Uh. Um, anyway, so I discovered that the cylinders are each individual castings that have flanges cast in them and they're bolted onto the next so it's inside admission on the HP inside admission on the intermediate pressure so high pressure intermediate pressure and then outside admission on the low pressure and you can see the ports coming from the low pressure through this receiver here and then so that's steam from the intermediate pressure and the low pressure. Anyway, one of the things that I want to talk about in this update and discovery is that this farm fix, and I put it kindly at saying it's a farm fix, um, is uh, pretty rough. I'll just put it at that. Um, these arms or as you can see or yeah um, anyway so whoever did this made a new eccentric new eccentric strap and this new shaft they had a good idea of having a valve stem guide although it's uh, not executed in the way I would do it and they made it so you can adjust the cutoff for the LP uh, not exactly how I would do it, but point is that when they did this, they put the LP eccentric on backwards, I think, at best. Uh, I tried to run this on air and it just fought itself. Um, try to then go through one of the um, sampling valve ports and try to run it just the LP on air. Um, I think still fought itself so we have some issues um so those are things i need to address i i had pulled one of the rods off and started cleaning up and stuff and then decided i wanted to clean i just cleaned the bearing surfaces up and put this back together and uh try to run it on air that's why i discovered that issue with the valve timing so there's that and some interesting things that i've discovered on it this thing has been painted several times you can see with my handy dandy metric or sorry imperial uh, sheet of white paper you can see the different shades of red I'll move the light over here so you can't quite tell there's a little bit darker maybe over here you can tell a little bit darker shade of red And I need three hands. A little bit darker shade of red up on the top of the bed plate there, and then on the sides. And you go over here. It looks like it was painted silver at one time. Um, and then you have this lighter salmon, well, I don't know what you want to call that paint. Um, anyway, trying to determine what color. I should paint it. it looks like the silver was and the bed plate was underneath everything else i don't know if it has a some type of 
uh, primer at one time, but that's what uh, what it is. I don't, I don't know um, any any ideas on what I should paint it. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, yeah, so I'm slowly in a peck way of cleaning this and taking it apart and figuring out where it needs attention. Um, I'll definitely replace this uh, repair um, and maybe work on replacing that repair. Um, but we'll slowly try to fix some of these issues and see that this thing did have a interesting I don't know what people think sometimes but or what happened maybe a wrench fell in here when it was running but that's quite the gouge out of the crankshaft there that will have to be fixed and then you know it was there that hit that uh column but we'll repair those too anyway that's what I got for now uh, sorry if not more. Thanks for watching.